What's going on guys? Tonight we're doing a guitar lesson of the song Walking After You by Foo Fighters. Uh, the first thing you want to do, make sure your guitar is in, in standard tu in tuning, in tune as usual. In this case it's standard tuning. It's going to be a low E. That's an A standard. D. Okay guys, so we're going to jump into this playthrough and then we'll do the breakdown after that. Here we go. Okay, just a breakdown of uh, all the riffs in the song, not necessarily in that order, but um, the first chord you want to do, you want to play is a um, standard E major chord. <clears throat> and that's basically what the entire song is based around, is this major chord here. For those of you who are not familiar with this uh, chord shape, that's going to be second fret on the A string. 2nd fret on the D, 1st fret on the G string, everything else is played to open. So then after that it goes into like an arpeggio riff, which is just the E chord again. So you're playing the low E string, then the D string, then the G string, back to the D, back to low E. The 
this time you're, you're still playing the same string order, but you're playing a different note um, on the on the bass only, which is going to be the fourth fret on the low E string. So starting from the beginning. And I, I actually missed another string. When you um, when you hit that low E string, you're going to hit the D string again. So together. Repeat the same pattern with the uh, with this fourth fret here. So the next chord is an A major chord, which is second fret on the D string, G, and B string. So um, in this order, it's going to be the A string, D string, G string. Back to the D string and back to the A string. So together. And after you hit that low A, you're going to hit the D again. So the next chord is going to be first fret on the A string, second fret on the D, and third on the G string. So you and you're gonna start. Um, you're gonna actually play that low A string. Then it's gonna be D, G, high E, then you're gonna go back to the G and the D string. This next part is gonna be just you scrum an A which was the previous chord. So the second part of this A, this A chord is going to be just releasing the uh, second fret on the G string, excuse me, the B string. And you're, up, you're basically going to do an up strum when you do that. You'll keep, you'll keep that chord going. Next part of uh, of the progression here is going to be the first fret on the D string, second fret on the G, and basically your open B, and that's what your what your chord is going to be based around. So, but the, as far as the arpeggio goes in the picking order, it's going to be it's going to be the D string, G, B, back to G, back to D, G again. D again. So together. I might have uh, given you some wrong advice on that one. Let me try it again. So, okay, my bad. It's going to be D, G, B, G, B, G. Basically what I gave you, but without that extra D, uh, that D string. starts over again. basically an F sharp major chord, like a bar chord, but except you're not barring it. So that's going to be second fret on the low E, uh, fourth fret on the A and D string, and then third fret on the G, and then the open high string. Move the position over to the fifth fret, which is an A chord. basically an E major chord without the major in it. Very passive E chord. Which is going to be 7th fret on the A string, uh, and then the 9th fret on the D and the G, and then of course everything else is played open. So 
So this this riff will loop, and I think at one point in the song it actually plays uh, three times in a row. Again, my playthrough is not um, not supposed to be verbatim, or it's not supposed to be chord for chord uh, what the song does. that low E string because it's going to be out. Uh, it's not going to sound right. I guess it could if you want to, but I don't. I just mute that E string and play everything else. And the next chord is uh, it's basically a type of an A chord. Open A, second fret on the D and the G, open B and open I E. Back to that F sharp. And the riff loops over again. So that's, that's basically the first acoustic guitar, which is really, in my opinion, the main rhythm track. Uh, the second one, which is what I, I actually overdubbed when we uh, did the playthrough, is a little bit more complicated as far as the notes. It's pretty, it could be pretty easy to get hung up on certain notes to play. Uh, I listened to the original recording, and uh, Dave Grawl, it's, he kind of just doesn't really have a specific pattern to the way he plays it for the most part. It's just kind of random here and there. So we're gonna just kind of simplify it and play it um, in a specific pattern. So <clears throat> the first thing, this guitar, this second uh, guitar, plays that E chord as well for the first measure. And the second measure goes, the second measure it actually plays a higher note. So that is basically, <clears throat> you are gonna, you're basically, it's the same string pattern the whole time. So you're gonna start with the first fret on the G string and play the high E at the same time. And the B, which is constant, it's constantly getting um, it played in the, in the middle of these two notes. So the, that's the first one. Second fret and second fret on the G and E. Again, the open B. Slide it from the second fret to the fourth sets. The set here, this set here. Slide it over. Back to that first position. <clears throat> and then you're gonna go high on the 6th fret and the 5th fret on the B and the E string. Excuse me, G and E string. So sets of 4, sets of 2, back to 1st position. So when it ends and goes into the verse, so on the sets of 4, and you're going to hit that B in the middle, Is, um, and I don't, I don't want to emphasize the certain strings to play because again Dave doesn't really uh, stick to a certain pattern so the main thing is the chord so for this one the transition the main transition is you're gonna hit that G string on the fifth uh, excuse me the sixth fret and the open high E back to the six, 
And then after that, you're gonna play an, uh, like a, um, you're gonna walk the, up the strings, arpeggio. But you're gonna have the sixth fret on the high E string, fifth fret on the B, and sixth fret on the G string. And you're gonna go back to that six and five. Another arpeggio that walks up the strings, starting on the B, then it hits the second, it hits the G string, which is second fret, and then the D string, which is first fret. And if you want to get exactly like the recording, you'd play on a 12 string. I don't have a 12 string, so I'm just kind of making do with this six string here. Um, so where would I leave off? And it goes back, it starts over. plays a little bit of a different chord here. It plays uh, ninth fret on the G string, uh, seventh on the B, and sixth on the high E string. And the way I think I play it for the recording is I hit that I hit that G string, and then after that I do an arpeggio walking up, starting on the high E string. So. normally but skipping to the next part of the song this is the let's call this the chorus so three and two Two other strings are going to be open. Now you're going to go to the second fret. basically how you play it. It's not that tough. You'd really just have to work on it. Um, again, I think I would play it different just about every time. I don't try to get it dead on to the recording because even Dave didn't really get it dead on. So, But uh, anyways, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment box below or you can leave them on my page or even Twitter. So uh, thanks for watching, guys.